We're going to start talking about transformations now. Uh, trend, and specifically a translation, which is really just like a slide or a shift of any geometric figure. So uh, translation is a transformation along a vector, kind of the key word there, along a vector, such that the segment joining a point and its image has the same length as the vector and is parallel to the vector. So a vector is just, it has direction and magnitude. It's got a length and it has a direction. So that means you move the entire shape the same direction and the same distance. So here's a vector, this little arrow. It looks a lot like a ray. It's pretty similar to a ray. Um, but it actually has a length. It doesn't go on forever. Vectors have a length. So that length right there, V, is exactly how far we're going to move each vertex of that triangle. So you could set it up this way. If you copy that vector, we're going to move the first part, B, that distance. We're going to move A, that same direction and distance, and C moves that same direction and distance. Every vertex moves the same direction and the same distance. Um, just for vocabulary sake, because you might see it coming up here, before you move it, this is called the pre-image, pre pre-before, before you move it, pre-image. And then after you move it, it's just called the image. That's why it's saying, and it's image. Image is after you move, pre-image is before you move. So when you have transformations on a coordinate grid like this, or on a grid in general, it's easy enough because you can just count how much does it move to the right and how much does it move up. So vector V moves one, two, three, four units to the right and up two. So we're going to move every vertex four units to the right and up two. So we're going to take A and move it four units to the right, one, two, three, four, and up two. That's going to be our new A. That's where A, the image of A. When you write it, you put the little apostrophe right there. It's actually, in math, we call it a prime, A prime. So remember, it's the same distance and direction. So we go four to the right and up two. Four to the right for B, one, two, three, four, and up two. And that's the image of B, or B prime. And then C goes four to the right, up two. And there's the image of C, C prime. Draw your triangle, and they're all done. Do the exact same thing with this uh, trapezoid, for example, B here. This has to move three to the left and up one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to move A three to the left and up five. And that would be A prime up there. And B. Do the same thing for C. Call it C prime. And then do the same thing for D.
You can draw your shape now, draw the trapezoid. And it should look the exact same, just like you just picked up the entire shape and shifted it, because that's exactly what a translation does. So another way of writing vectors, rather than just drawing them, uh, you can do what's called component form. Kind of looks like an ordered pair, but it's not parentheses. It's these little um, pointed parentheses, I guess. They're like braces. And what that means is that's how much it moves in the x direction. The first coordinate will be the x, just like an ordered pair. Second component will be a y, just like an ordered pair. So it tells you how much it moves in the x and how much it moves in the y. Um, positive is to the right. Negative will be to the left. Positive will be up. Negative will be down. So since this vector here, PQ, moves it to the right 5 and up 3, right is positive, up is also positive. So if right 5, up 3, it would be the vector 5, 3. Moves 5 to the right, positive 5, and then 3 up, positive 3. Now you can also write rules for how translations shift. So whatever number you're adding by moving to the right or subtracting by moving to the left, you would write with the um, x component. B is how much you're moving up or down, so you could add it to the y coordinate, to the y component. So that'll make more sense when we see it with numbers here. So. We're moving it with the vector 4, 6. Since it's positive 4 and positive 6, that means it's going to the right and up, which means we're adding 4 to the x and we're adding 6 to the y. So the rule for the image is going to take x and add 4 to it. You're going to take the y component and add 6 to it because the vector is 4, 6. So we've got our vector, our coordinates for the first point, negative 2, 1. And when we do the rule, we have to add 4 to the x component, to the x coordinate, and add 6 to the y, so 1 plus 6. So this is just the work. The answer is actually 2, 7. Where we end up. When you do the math, you get 2, comma, 7. Same thing for the next coordinate. We're going to take negative 3 and add 4. So negative 3 plus 4 is 1. Negative 2, add 6. You get 4. And then negative 1, negative 2, we're going to add 4. So negative 1 plus 4 is 3. Negative 2 plus 6, that's 4. And it says to graph both the pre-image and the image. So I'll do the pre-image first, plot those three points, negative 2, 1. Negative 3, negative 2, and then negative 1, negative 2. We can draw that little triangle. And we'll do the same thing with our new coordinates for the image. It's over at 2, 7. Plot the point. And then 1, 4. And 3, 4. 
and you can draw that triangle. You can see it's the same shape, it just got shifted. You could even count how much it got shifted if you wanted to, you could just count it out. It went to the right four, up six, because that's what the vector says. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Do that with every point. So we can do the same thing with these new coordinates. This time the difference is the vector says negative 2, 3, which means that's going left 2 and up 3, which means the rule is you subtract 2 from the x-coordinate. So that's x minus 2. And then you're going to add the 3 to the y, so y plus 3. So subtract 2, you get 1. Add 3, you get 3. Subtract 2, you get 0. Add 3, you get 1. Subtract 2, you get 2. Add 3, you get 1. And you can plot both the pre-image and the image. There's 3, 0. 2, negative 2, 4, negative 2. There's our pre image. And the image after the translation is at 1, 3, 0, 1, 2, 1. So since this was A, this is A prime up here. B was over at 2, negative 2, so there's B. So this is B prime after the shift. This was A, this was B and C. This is C, so this would be C prime after the translation. <coughs> 